Hey, what's up guys? Boss X7 here with another Nolan Suit tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make FED quality track using hand building and just show you basically just the general technique and you guys can apply this to any coaster you guys want. And uh, basically it's going to, the results should be really smooth track with uh, very low lats. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. Go ahead and go to add vertex. Now the key with this is go ahead and start light on the vertex and then you're going to want to thicken up the vertexes as you go. So basically add more and more and more. And remember the depump tool in the elements and in, in the element tab, use that a lot because that'll help you out a lot. So if you want to get your general shaping down, like so, go ahead and before you even try to do all this kind of stuff, just go ahead and depump it first, first thing you do. Because that will kind of get the shape that you want for you and then you can adjust it from there. So. Go ahead and delete that now. All right, so let's get started here. So this is a 60 mile an hour launch. So first off, I'm gonna put a little airtime hill here. So let's go to track and add vertex. Let's go ahead and add some right here. And I'm keeping speed come on so I know the distance I need to go vertically. Then I'll use the G-Force comb. All right, so you can see how this, when this uh, speed comb goes away, that means the, the uh, coaster is not actually gonna make it over the track, so. Let's go ahead and lower this. All right, now we're gonna shape this part up in the front. Let's go ahead and highlight these, this section here. And click that one, there we go. All right, now let's go ahead and tighten it all up now. All right, after you've done that, go ahead and depump again. Now doing this and this technique, you guys will get really, really smooth track. And you don't you can just go through it once. So once you get it done, once you take in the time to get the section of the track smooth, most of the time you're not gonna have to go back and change it at all. All right, now let's check G forces. All right, so you can see this is kind of minimal here. So let's go ahead and tighten it up a little bit. And we're gonna want to have a little bit of air time. So let's go ahead and move these back until we get some air time. Check the speed again. Not gonna make it. All right, and let's go ahead and pull these down. Now you can see when the G-Force comb starts going above the track, that's air time. So that's negative G's, so that means you want to pull that down a little bit. I'd say yellow should be fine for this first part. All right, now we got the shape that we want and a few G's that we want. And let's tighten that up. All right, let's go ahead and depump it again. All right, cool. All right, so after you've done that, let's go ahead and add some vertexes. So let's go, or vertices. Let's go ahead and add them in here. There we go. And highlight the whole thing. Oops. Highlight the whole thing and depump. All right, there we go. Let's go to perspective and let's check it. All right, looks good. Okay, now go to back to front view. And go ahead and adjust what you the uh, G forces. So I want a little bit more airtime here, so I'm gonna pull these down a little bit. Okay. Now I the whole thing again. And you're gonna do this for every segment of the track that you do around the entire track. All right. So let's check that again. Okay, it's looking good. All right. Now next thing, you want to go to radius comb single, and this basically tells you how smooth the track is from vertex to vertex. So. If these have a lot of spikes in them, like uh, kind of miss basically like a bunch of humps, you want it to be really smooth. So if they have a bunch of humps, go ahead and deep up the entire thing or add a vertex. It just all depends on your situation, but um, you just want this to look really uh, smooth. So it has no steep angles or anything like that. All right, let's go back to G-Force Comb. And let's go ahead and insert a few more vertex or vertices. So let's go to add vert insert vertex and let's go ahead and throw a few more in there. All right, now go ahead and highlight the whole thing. And same thing again, depump. All right, depump again. All right, so we have our airtime hill here. So now we're gonna want to bank into a right turn from the top view. So let's go ahead and go to track and add vertex. Remember, start light with the vertex vertices. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now let's go ahead and depump that right away. All right, that didn't do anything. So I'll probably have to adjust it here. Okay, so go ahead and adjust these. All right, let's go ahead and depump this section here. 
five. There we go. So we got our shape down. Now for this section, let's go ahead and add the roll vertices. I mean the uh, roll points. Let's go ahead and make it strict. There we go. So that should zero out all of these. All right, for this section here, you're going to add the roll points first. So you can see if these, if this section has too many Gs or not. So you can go ahead and stretch it out. As you can see, that's a little bit too much, but it looks like with the vertex right here, I should fix it. So let's go back to top view. And let's go ahead and adjust these around a little bit. Let's move them out. Let's make sure the Gs are okay. As soon as we move that way, there we go. And once you get the shape that you want, once again, go ahead and highlight the whole thing and deep pump. All right, so it's a good start for now. So you want to steepen this up a little bit. So let's go ahead and grab these and just keep on adjusting them as you need them. That's why you start off with a few nodes first and then go ahead and add a bunch of them to get the FED kind of style um, track shaping. So let's go ahead and lower these. All right, let's highlight this entire section here. And a little bit up here and deep pump. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and start adding our roll points. So let's add another one here and click no lats on the roll point. There we go. And same in here. All right, let's go ahead and highlight the whole thing again and deep pump. All right, so these are looking better. And we need another roll point here, so let's go ahead and add one. There we go. No lats. And there we go. Okay, go ahead and scope over the track, make sure it looks okay. So you can see there's a height difference here. So let's go ahead and lower these. Okay. And let's highlight it one more time and depump. Alright, now let's go on to phase two. So this is basically just the skeleton of it. Now we're gonna refine it. And you can see all these little pumps on the side with lats all around the track. So let's go ahead and press V or insert vertex and go ahead and insert in between each one. Just like so. And before you do anything, don't add one between these two here because it'll mess it up just like that. So control Z that and slide the whole thing again and depump before you touch anything. All right, so now our track is looking a lot smoother. You can see the G-forces a lot more even though. And for these inconsistencies in the lats, we can go ahead and grab each node. And you can see that this is pulling this way. So we can adjust this first. If that doesn't fix it completely. Go ahead and grab each vertice and pull it up a little bit. Oops, turn snap off. And let's go ahead and pull them up until these green lines are as perfectly on this white spline here in the middle. So the same here, grab it up, pull it up. Fix this one, no lats, there we go. You can see this one get pulled down a little bit. There we go, same here. Pull these all the way back. So these lines just represent the lateral Gs on the rider going off to the side. And let's go ahead and keep doing that along the entire segment. All right, now we have our shape done. Now remember our entire goal is to get all these lateral Gs as close to this white line here as possible. So that will give you the most centered train as possible and the best G-force as possible, just as FVD would if you were to build it in that program. Also, No Limits actually has its own force vector design kind of uh, tool here under Element and it's called Force Vector. Now this is kind of tricky to use. I actually don't use it personally because it, it kind of messes up, but you can kind of see how this would work. And you can go ahead and shorten this length up. So let's go make it two seconds and press enter. And you can go ahead and use vertical G-forces, right click to add a node, and you can build the track this way if you would like. Now I would do this, but the problem with this version is that when you connect two of your force vector pieces on the ends here, they, end, they tend to have a sloppy connection. So it's either really rough or it makes it a straight piece and so it's kind of hard hard to purely build it with just this so i just go with hand building because that's kind of what i've been using this entire time so might as well keep at it all right so back to this now let's go ahead and finish this off here so let's add another airtime hill here 
So let's go to top view and go ahead and add a few vertex vertices here. So just like that. And let's go ahead and shape this across this way. All right, there we go. All right, let's go back to perspective. And let's go ahead and shape this up a little bit. So let's go ahead and pull these up as high as you want. Let's go to speed comb and go ahead and start pulling these vertex vertices up. Keep getting mixed up. <laughs> All right, so let's start pulling these up and make sure, making sure that we have the speed comb correct. Okay, let's go to top view. And I'm gonna go ahead and shape this up a little bit better here and hide the whole thing and just deep pump it. All right, that's much better. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to GeForce again and go to track, add roll, and then let's go ahead and add it where we need them. There we go, so one right here and no lats. There we go. All right, so you can see this lot, there's a lot of lateral Gs right here, right? So click on your previous node, your previous roll vertice, press no lats. And you can see if you pull this back, that these will go away. And now we add a vertex right here. Let's go to track, insert a vertex. You can do the same thing here and get rid of these lateral Gs, just like that. All right, so another example here is that sometimes if you're, you press no lateral Gs and your track flips the opposite direction like this, go ahead and press zero it out again and you see how I don't want it to turn this way, right? So zero it out, click on the angle that you want it to turn first, or rotate, which is this way first, and then you can go ahead and press no lats. And you can see that's pretty exaggerated, so if you don't want it to be that exaggerated, it's okay to have lateral Gs in some places. It's high speed bank turns, you want to keep the lats as low as possible. And on airtime hills, lats are perfectly fine, just as long as they aren't too intense. It also depends on what coaster style you're going for, but uh, it's all on you guys. So just to show you guys the basic technique on how to get really nice track. And yeah, so let's finish up here. So let's add a roll here and rotate. No lats, there we go. And let's add another one right in here. All right, now let's finish up the break run here. So let's go ahead and pull these up a little bit. And let's go ahead and delete a few of these nodes and make one of these strict. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this one strict. There we go. And delete this one and pull these forward. And let's go ahead and make a little turn around here. Add vertex. I'm actually gonna angle this a little bit. Let's go ahead and press space bar and grab these. Pull this this way. And let's go ahead and add a few here. All right, let's go ahead and highlight this, this section right here and make to the make straight to the top right here under track. Now keep, keep it straight, click it a few times. There we go. And let's go to perspective. And let's make sure our break run is solid here. So let's go ahead and add roll right under the strict node here. Let's go ahead and click, move it forward just a tiny bit and let's make it no lateral Gs and make it strict or make, make it zero and then make it strict. And then we'll fix this up later. And at the start of the break run, let's go ahead and make this one a strict node. There we go. And let's go ahead and add roll right in front of it. And F3. And then let's go to no lats, which we don't want. So you see we need to adjust that a little bit. So make it zero and strict. Let's go ahead and insert a vertex right behind here. And move this, adjust that. There we go. And let's go ahead and fix the problems that we have right here. All right, so we're gonna finish up this segment here. So let's go ahead and same thing as always. Let's, wait, we need a roll note here real quick. Add a roll here and let's click no lats. There we go, perfect. All right, so let's go to insert vertex again and let's go ahead and insert every one of these. All right, much better. So let's go back to all the roll nodes and uh, no lats them again. So let's go ahead and click this one, no lats. And same on all of them on the hills here. All right, so now let's go back and go to each node and go ahead and pull them in. So we have no, oh, none of these side lateral bars here on the G-Force comb. 
So let's go ahead and pull these back in, just like so. All right, that's looking good. So let's go ahead and hide the whole thing one more time and depump it. All right, cool. So you can see this, we can fix the shaping down here just a tiny bit. See how this segment's a little bit straight here. So let's go ahead and pull these out a little bit. There we go. Let's click on this one, the lats, much better. And highlight the segment right here. And let's go ahead and depump. All right, now let's finish it off. Highlight this one last time here. And let's go ahead and depump. This should be good for now for the tutorial. So depump there. All right. So G's look all good. Kind of have some weird element here that I just had to make up for the tutorial. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and finish up this uh, turn around here. So let's go ahead and go to top view. And let's make this straight. Hey, what's up guys, here back in play mode, and I just put a few supports on it, add some water, and uh, here's the final product of the track. And let's go ahead and give it a test ride. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been a tutorial on how to make a really cool quality FED kind of style track in No Limit series and hand building. Uh, if you guys like this video, if it helped you guys out, don't forget to leave a comment down below and like. And as well as if you guys like to see more videos on tutorials rather than coasters, just let me know because I have to kind of manage my time between that and stuff I'm doing outside of this. So uh, if you guys want to see more coasters or more tutorials, don't forget to just let me know guys because uh, this is No Limits. <laughs> So it takes a while to produce stuff. So yeah, if you guys like the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more.